This is the ingredients that you need to make Staffordshire oat cakes. You need 225 grams of wholemeal flour, 225 grams same amount of oatmeal, just a small amount of sugar, a teaspoon, half a pint of water, half a pint of milk, and they should both be warm, and one level tablespoon of yeast, which is about 15 mils. So first job to do is to dissolve the yeast. So I'm going to use a bit of the water to make it a liquid. And I need to mix. Keep mixing the yeast with the water until you end up with a paste. That could take you a few minutes. Then you need to add about one teaspoonful of sugar and mix it around some more. And then you can just leave that while you sort out the dry ingredients. Add the flour and the oatmeal together to a bowl and then just a pinch of salt and mix it round. Does that look alright? Yeah. Give your yeast a few minutes somewhere warm to go frothy and then pour it into your dry ingredients. And then start adding the other liquid, the milk and the water and mix in them all together. So now add in the milk, keep mixing. Once you've added all your milk and water, you should end up with a batter, a lumpy batter because of the oatmeal. When it's all mixed, you need to leave it for an hour, just cover it loosely and leave it somewhere warm. So my mixture has been sitting for about an hour. This is what it looks like now. It has risen a bit, so now it looks a bit like porridge with a suntan. Uh, and now we're ready to go and cook some. Okay, I have my pan warming. If you have a griddle, that would be the ideal thing to use. I don't have one, so I'm just using a heavy based frying pan with just a little bit of oil in the bottom. So I'm just waiting for it to get up to temperature. So I'm just spooning some batter into the pan. And spread it out a little bit. And leave it to cook. I've spread this out a bit with the spatula. It's half cooked, so I just need to turn it over. You could flip it if you're brave. I'll just use my spatula. Okay, my oat cake is ready. You can fill it with all sorts of things, but traditional filling is bacon. So I'm just going to put a bit of that on there. And cheese. So I'll put a bit of that on there. Leave it in the pan to warm through and melt a little bit. And then I'm going to roll it up. Right, so I'm now rolling it up, ready to serve. Okay, and then that's ready to eat.